Steve Quick here for Rogers Music Promotions, and I'm talking here with our friend from Wisconsin, Connie Hall. Miss Connie, how are you feeling? Well, I'm doing fairly well considering some things, but um, I'm looking forward to just talking with you here, Steve. Well, it's just great to talk to you always, uh, always uh, refreshing. You have uh, a lot of good insight about a lot of things, and of course, uh, you know, your music just, uh, to me, is timeless. It's just you've got a great sound. Anytime you record anything, your your voice is clear as a bell, and uh, like I've told people in the past, uh, and they've told me in the past, she has such a very soothing sound, and, and that's great. Uh, you know, you got a new release out now. You released out in April. Uh, you would like to talk about it. Uh, Lord, use me. I sure would. Um, uh, this is actually a culmination of several songs that I wrote throughout the years. And uh, the title song is uh, Lord Use Me, right? It's on Amazon and iTunes. And <laughs> so it's, it's, I've got a few in my hand, even. So. Right. Uh, well, let's go back a little ways. Uh, of course, uh, the people that probably are not familiar with your music or just now getting familiar with you, you'd like to kind of go back and uh, give a background of uh, how long you've been in music and what you've been doing? I, sh I sure would. Um, uh, being brought up in a minister's home, I sang and played in the church since before I could even read the words from a hymnal. Uh, most of the songs I had learned just by listening to my mom as she went through the house. Mom sang such such beautiful songs like an angel, and she inspired me tremendously with the music as I grew up. Well, that's wonderful to uh, you know have that inspiration, especially from your mom. And of course, uh, we just uh, got through celebrating Mother's Day, and uh, of course, Father's Day coming up soon. And uh, of course, your yep. parents uh, your parents were very instrumental, I'm sure, in uh, uh, bringing out your music. And uh, of course, you shared uh, with me that uh, you know your your children. Uh, uh, I think they've always believed in mom too, haven't they? I hope so. <laughs> I know I know my parents are very instrumental, so I hope that I've played some kind of a role with, with my children the same way. Well, uh, would you like to kind of go in uh, in detail a bit more how this uh, Lord Use Me uh, CD come together? Well, uh, I guess I'll, I'll go back a little bit of and, and talk about the writing. I didn't really start writing uh, until I was maybe in my mid-20s. But it was in the early 70s that I gave my heart to Jesus with a full understanding and knew that he had something special that he wanted me to do. The singing always came easy. It was in my heart and my life. But when it came to writing, I knew the songs were directed to the hearts of people who needed a special touch from God. And most of the songs came as inspiration from people who were going through some tremendous grief and sorrow and pain, and they needed comfort and strength. Uh, there was a young couple in our church that lost their only two children in a car accident. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, yes. <laughs> it was a tremendous blow to all of us who knew and cared for them. And the only comfort that I myself could find was knowing that they were safe in Jesus' arms. And sitting down with my guitar, just to soothe my own self, I began to sing and to write. And the only thoughts of comfort that I could find were just knowing that those two little kids were safe in Jesus' arms. Yes, that's and within a beautiful. five minutes' time, the song was there, We're safe in Jesus' arms, safe from all life's harm, safe on his gentle breast, forever we will rest. And yes, it's songs oh, like so that beautiful. that God has called me to do. Yes. Would you like to talk a little bit about uh, Diamond in the Sun? This being... Uh, uh, yes, I sure would. Uh, there, this is one piece on there that is not a singing song, it's a talking song. John Adamson from California put the music behind it. He's an awesome instrumentalist. And uh, it came to me from a dream that I had way back in 1991. I had two of my sons that were in the Persian Gulf War. And, of course, as a mom... I spent an awful lot of time worrying about what stud it was that was going to land on their poor little head. Yeah. And uh, I, I just prayed one night and I asked Jesus to give me comfort. And uh, I had a dream. And this diamond in the sun is that dream. It tells you about it. 
And uh, as time went on, I mean, all these years, that, that's many years ago, just recently that that song really came back to me, and I used it, talked it on my computer. Did and you, then John uh, put music behind it, and it became a diamond in the sun. And I have, I have decided that's my motto. As far as I'm concerned, I am a diamond in the sun. Right. And, uh, and I've made that my new record label's name, a diamond in the sun record. Diamond in the sun, beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you write uh, most of the songs on this CD, or? I uh, wrote all of them but one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's ten songs on there, and nine of them are my own. Mm -hmm. it, you know, you kind of work hand in hand with uh, Roger Woods now, and uh, of course he's with Roger Music Promotions. And uh, would you like to say a few things about Roger? Well, you know, Roger has just been an extreme encouragement to me. I can say nothing less than that. He is just an absolute encouragement. I knew, no, I didn't know what to do with my music. I spent a lot of years out of my music, and uh, when I found myself in the position that I am right now, I knew that I needed to get back to doing the music again, but for years, all I did was sit and play for people singly, you know, uh, pick up my guitar and sing music, and uh, now I know I can't go out and sing like I used to do, and uh, he has shown me that there's there's other ways to go about it with promotional yes, there is. Uh, things I can get my music out there around the world and there's other people that are hearing it and I don't have to be right there face to face with them to be touching their hearts so well like I said I'm very happy and I'm and I'm also happy Steve for all the radio stations that play my music for the fans without all these different ones I I don't know how where I would do with any of it so Right. Well, yeah, it's just <laughs> it's just beautiful, and like I told you from the outset, uh, you know, your uh, music is soothing. Uh, people have told me the different ones. Oh, what a beautiful voice! And uh, it it really is. It truly is. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, you're listening to Connie Alma Hall, and uh, she is a singer songwriter and uh, is doing a great job here, and inspiring us and and doing a great job with. Uh, uh, putting out some uh, wonderful music and beautiful music that is soothing to the soul. Well, thank you so much, Miss Connie Alma Hall, and you have a great rest of the summer, and uh, we down here in Tennessee, we love you. All righty, for Rogers Music Promotions, this is Steve Quick. I bow my knees before you Strengthening my spirit Knowing you alone Have made me worthy Just to come into your presence singing glory hallelujah it gives me joy unbounded joy lord use me use me today in a special kind of way let me reach out and take my brother's hand. May Jesus' love show so all the world may know the miracles there are in God's love. Lord, use me. Life has slapped you in the face and torn your 
heart in two Leaving you alone and oh so blue Where do you turn for comfort He'll listen to your cry Go tell Jesus He's always standing by Go tell Jesus He's like no other friend Jesus, he'll be